Hey there, gang. I just pulled one in. It's going to be receiving a ceramic coating from the windshield back. Why from the windshield back? The whole front clip is uh, surrounded with a protective film. Now, the protective films are there to absorb little things like rock chips and minor scuffs, uh, maybe etching from bugs or bird droppings, and they're meant to then be pulled off and replaced when they're wasted. But you can care for them. There are ways to care for them. One of them involves uh, a little bit of polishing, and I don't recommend it unless you have a lot of experience doing it. They're very touchy, but um, I will show you the other ways to care for them that are a little bit uh, less hazardous. So let's get started. Before I get started on removing swirls and correcting the clear coat, I'm going to take care of the front clip, which is completely covered with protective film. And on that film, we have some staining. We have etching from bird droppings and bugs splattering against the front end and some minor blemishes that uh, can be taken care of with some very careful polishing. We're also going to take care of the edges. That's a very important area. You don't want them to lift or to get any polish or waxes pushed up against them to attract dirt, which will eventually find their way underneath the edge of the protective film. And that's where the problems start. I believe you could see the edges here and what I used to go after them before and after I care for the, the film is this tool right here. It's a paintbrush with tape around the metal band that holds bristles together. I take the tape down below the metal band pretty far so it keeps the bristles together. They're, they're soft bristles, but doing that will keep them together, together and make them stiff enough to get in the edges and the crevices of where the film meets the metal. If I can't clean it dry, I'll apply a mild APC cut 20 to 1. Polishing the film is possible, very carefully. I don't recommend it unless you have some practice under your belt, but I go about it totally different than polishing clear coat. I use the non-aggressive three inch Grios Garage polisher, a utility pad. I'm gonna use a lot more product than I would usually use on clear coat. And that is gonna be applied after I totally saturate the surface of the pad, preparing it for polishing. You don't want any portion of the polishing pad to be dry before laying it on the surface of the film. You also don't want heat dissipating from the pad itself to the film. That's the film's worst enemy. You want to do swift arm movements back and forth. And you want to lift pressure off of the tool so you don't have the whole weight of the tool on the film while you're polishing. If you're not familiar with the car whatsoever, you want to do one quick pass as I'm doing here. Remove the residue, see how that cream and uh, polishing pad reacted with the film, because there's many manufacturers of the films that may react differently. Completely remove the residue, survey the area, and go from there. As you can see here, it did make a difference already, but there are quite a few spots. So what I'll do is I'll just go after them individually. I will thoroughly clean the pad with compressed air and apply a nice thick layer of product back on the pad. And we'll get back to removing the rest of those blemishes. You want to keep the polishing pad well enough away from the edge. You don't want to get any cutting cream in the corner 
nor do you want to lift the edge with your polishing pad. I have a nice plush microfiber with an arm's reach. So we're gonna get the residue off and hopefully this will be good enough and we could jump to the next step. That's gonna do it. So we're gonna remove the cutting pad. We're gonna replace it with a nice soft polishing pad. We're gonna use Angel Wax Perfect Polish. And just like we did before, we're gonna prep the surface of the pad by saturating it with the product. And we're going to have the exact same arm speed movement and pressure on the tool as we had in the previous step. Light and quick. Never hold the tool and the polishing pad in one area for more than a split second. And that's going to be it. That looks good. I'm going to remove the residue. I'm going to jump up onto the upper half of the hood, remove some of the blemishes from bird droppings, some of the stains, some other etching and minor scuffs. Then we're going to get to another part of the care process for the film. Before we go any further, I do want to bring you in and let you see what the progress is so far after the polishing. The etching is gone. The staining is gone, a lot of the marring is gone, uh, some of the etching from the bugs splattered to the front is gone. You can't get rid of that altogether, nor can you get rid of the marks from stone chips. So we're going to move on to putting a sealant on. What I'm doing here is important to explain because I'm going to start at the edges and then work my way in. Starting at the edges, I'll apply some product and then push outward, away from the edge of the film. That way I ensure none of the product gets pushed up against and gets wedged into the corner of the film to work its way in eventually because it will attract and hold on to dirt and it'll work that underneath as well. Say you're working on the front of the car here. Pop the hood, take care of the hood first. Open it up completely, then you can get the top of the fenders. Open up the doors, then you can get the sides of the fenders. Then you can push down towards the tires and go on from there. And then towards the middle, simply apply like you would any other wax or sealant or crisscross patterns or however you feel comfortable making sure that it has a nice even cover. Then we're going to go back to the edges. We're going to pop the hood, take care of the top of the fender, make sure we're pushing outwards away from the ridge on the top of the fender. We're going to open up the door so we can push the product away from the fender and not get it stuck on the ridge at the edge of the door. The process will be exactly the same if you just have a clear bra. When you get around to the headlights or the grill, keep the product away from the edges. By the way guys, if I did forget to mention it, cleaning is simple. No matter if it's just a clear bra 
or protective film layered all over the whole car. Just clean it with regular car shampoo and emit just like you would clear coat. Follow it up with a quality wax or quality sealant and your protective film will be good to go until it's time to rip it off and put a new layer down. This particular sealant is to sit on the surface for about 15 minutes until it lightly hazes over and then remove with a nice plush microfiber. It'll cure for the next 24 hours. I know I keep stressing the quality microfibers, but if you're spending a ton of time correcting, especially on clear coat, that's soft. You don't want to come in and remove product with a crappy Costco towel that has thick thread on the edges and scuff and mar up all the work you just took time doing. Save those for door jams, wheels, and some interior work. What I have here, I believe, is an Eagle Edgeless from the Rag Company. When it comes to removing residue after the final step, I wouldn't be caught without it. Now, before I correct the rest of the vehicle from the windshield back to prep it for ceramic coating, I want to show you the protective film here. It's like night and day. It's, uh, it looks good. It's refurbished. Uh, I know it's a throwaway. You could peel it off and put a new one on, but if it's not in the budget, they bring it to me, I can refurbish it a bit, and move on. Okay gang, so I thought I'd release the video to kind of help you out. These films are becoming more and more popular and fast. They'll be showing up on lots of vehicles in a lot of different places. Maybe just the front uh, bumper, whole front clip bumper mirrors or fender flares could be anywhere so keep an eye out for them especially if you're going to be doing some correcting you don't want to lay a polish on them unless you have a little bit of experience and you know what you're, what you're doing so if you have any questions don't hesitate brian from apex detail catch you in the next video